Hello everyone and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode here in the RIM show channel. Today we're going to be starting the Premier League and before that I want to show you that I've changed the formation for to a 4-2-3-1. I think it's better suited for the kind of players we have. So yeah, this is the formation we're going to be rock rocking at least for the beginning. Already some players losing their overall like McCarthy, but I think that it should be enough for the first season. Hennessy, is, we have an offer for him from Crutuna, we're gonna say yes, we are trying to sell him. Riedewald is a player we are not looking to sell, so we're gonna say no to Real Sociedad. We do have some training session we need to get through, of course I'm gonna bore you with them, I'm just gonna play them off screen. So the first game of the season is against Wolverhampton Wanderers away at the Molyneux. Let's hope for a good start, of course, again we are not a very very good side in the Premier League. You've seen the team sheet yourselves, it's not an impressive team. But we are going to try our best to be competitive this season. And what a game to begin with against Wolves away. So let's get it done. So the sixth minute we are getting the ball in the middle of the park. Ayu to Zaha. But we lose the ball. And Wolves now in the tenth minute. Look at what Jordan Ayu is doing to the Wolves defense and he is getting the first goal of the season for Crystal Palace. Jordan Ayu who have thought about maybe selling in the beginning of the series but no we are gonna we kept him and now he is rewarding us with a great goal to begin our season away at the Molyneux. The fans, the Crystal, Fal the Crystal Palace fans are going insane. What a goal by Jordan Ayu. Just Tears away the defense. Now Wolves are trying to get it back, but they can't. Good shot by Neves, but not good enough. The end of the first season, it, it first season, the end of the first half, 1-0 Crystal Palace. I'm not going to show you all of the games. Um all of the game, all the 90 minutes. Now look at this ball to Adama Traore. He just can't defend against this kind of ball. And it's 1-1 at the Molyneux after 54 minutes. Now Davis to Eze. Great shot, but a great save by Rui Patricio, the Portuguese international. Now we are again at the attack. It's only 5 minutes left to play. Davis here with a with a great ball as you're gonna see to Jordan Ayu what a goal I mean seriously sometimes when you can find those little spaces in FIFA 21 they are just so important if <laughs> especially sorry uh, especially if you're playing a weak side like Crystal Palace it's so important to find these kind of spaces Tom Davis our new signing what a ball to Jordan Ayu and what a goal at the <laughs> almost at the end of the game, 87th minute. Uh, wow, this game ends with a big, big drama and a big, big 2-1 win away to begin our season. Ibrici is a is a. I'm sorry. Uh, he's changed his position to an attacking midfielder. This is great for us. Although he could have stayed left mid, I I prefer him to be in this center attacking. Uh, midfielder position and we are jumping to the next game the second game of the season the first game in Selhurst Park our home and it is against Newcastle so 20 minutes the first 20 minutes were nothing but look at what uh, Saint, uh, <laughs> Alan St. Maximan is doing to my defense and it's just one in Newcastle wow now we are trying to get back to the game again, it's a very very hard game against Newcastle. Good ball to Tom Davis, but it's being blocked. And the end of the first half, it's 1-0 Newcastle. Such, such a tough game against Newcastle. Now look at Almiron and look at the save by Guyate, but St. Maximan, who's just <laughs> putting my defense into shame in this game, makes it 2-0 to the Magpies, ah, such a tough game, now look at it, look at this goal by Newcastle, bam, what can you do, how can you defend against this kind of shot, it's just too good by Midsetu, Midsetu, I don't know, 
but what a strike by this guy wow just too good look at it again i mean you can defend look at it you can defend against this kind of shot guyate perhaps could have done more but i don't think so it's three nil after one hour of football we are trying to get something back but Newcastle playing five at the back, we just couldn't do nothing in this game. And this is a shameful defeat at our first game at home. <laughs> ah, just not good enough. Hennessy, Saint uh, Etienne want him. Sure, go ahead, you can have him. And the last game we're gonna be playing in this episode is against Southampton. We're currently sitting at the bottom of the Premier League table, but they, but they have a good team with the likes of Walker Peters at the right back, James Ward Prowse, and of course the two strikers, Che Adams, who I value much in this game, and the main man himself, Dan Ings. Now he, Dan Ings, got the ball and the first shot of the game after six minutes. But Guyate with a good save, the corner with Genep, no, with Ward Prowse, and look at what Gavriodel is doing. Uh, now we are trying to attack again, a very very hard game, but uh, Southampton defense just clears it. And at the end of the first half, it's nil nil. So the second half began with me trying to attack, but again, it, we're just lacking in the attack. I mean, I'm not feeling Wilfried Zah in this first three games, just n nothing from him. Townsend is actually doing a lot. Ize, Ize was okay. Now look at Genepo. He's giving the ball toward Prowse and just, again, defending against this kind of shot. You have nothing to do. And I was so mad, I just <laughs> simmed through the Southampton celebration. Now, Townsend, beginning his run, like I said, he had a very good game, doing, trying to do something in the against the Southampton defense, and he's getting fouled, and we're going to have a free kick, the first free kick of the season. We're trying something cheeky in here, and it almost works, but just, mm, just close, but not there yet. So 78 minutes of football, still 1-0 to Southampton. Riddlewald is getting the ball now, uh, giving to Mateta, giving him if his first minutes of the season. Eze 2, uh, Davis 2, Wilfried Zaha, who finally showed up to the 2020-2021 season with his first goal to make it 1-1 at the St. Mary's Stadium. It's such an important goal for us to get the confidence back after the shameful display against Newcastle. And again, Tom Davis with the assist. His short passes are just amazing in this game. Just going to train up his physical stats. Now, James Ward-Prowse with a free kick. Close, but just not quite. The corner again to Southampton. And we are able to defend it. Very good. So uh, at the end of the game we're trying to attack but just not good enough and the game ends 1-1. So for the first three games of the season we win one, we lose one and we draw one. I think it is a fairly good uh, beginning of the season and we have some loan offers again for our strikers Benteke and Jordan Ayo. We are not looking to loan them. But I am thinking that perhaps I'm going to sell Christian Benteke, 74 overall, 29 years of age. Perhaps I'm going to use this money to buy another player that I'm keeping my eyes on. He is on my shortlist. Let's see if I can, if I will be able to sell Christian Benteke. So this is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, have a great, great day.